All right, guys. I, I I don't I can't really explain how excited I am for this. Um, if you've been listening or watching this channel uh, for any length of time, then you probably know that I'm a massive, massive fan of not only the Rocky franchise. I know it inside and out, backwards, forwards, every single line to every movie, but also the Creed franchise, the continuation of the Rocky franchise. I can't get enough of this world. I absolutely love the Creed films. I actually just got done with a podcast uh, with my long lost brother, Jesse Cole, just begging him to please watch Creed 1 and 2. Um, such fantastic films. So fucking good. Oh my God, I love the Creed films. Um, it, it just really revitalized the whole Rocky world for everyone, I feel like. Um, but not only that, the, the films, even without Rocky, even without the Rocky franchise, they're still, it's, it's so damn good. Michael B. Jordan is so damn good. Ryan Coogler is so damn good. This is such a great franchise. And I've been, you know, I got so pumped. I remember I saw Creed, the first Creed. I got really excited about Creed 2. And I, I remember leading up to Creed 2, I was doing all these videos where I'm like speculating and trying to figure out what's going to happen. And, and I absolutely loved Creed 2. But Creed 3 looks to maybe blow that one out of the water. And... Yeah, I've already watched this trailer, yes. I was too excited, I had to watch it. Um, I'm going to watch it with you now, though, to kind of go through and, and give you um, just a refresher and kind of give you my thoughts on it as it plays out and afterwards. But man, um, this 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 trailer's so amazing. Uh, Jonathan Majors looks amazing. He's such an awesome actor. Um, I, I, let's just Let's just get into it. I spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. Very much like Rocky III. Bianca. Rocky. My dad. This is built on their shoulders. It's very much like Rocky III. I bet he was going to retire. I bet he was going to retire right there. Hey, my man, can I help you? Let me get an autograph. Kang the Conqueror, baby. Off my car. You don't remember me, huh? How long were you locked up? 18 years, bro. Just got out last week. Glad to have you back out, man. I know I've been away a long time, but I kept myself in shape. I still got gas in the tank. Come by the gym. Thank you. Curious what happened with you two? I didn't tell you. We was like brothers. I was the best, though. Man, I never got a chance to prove that. That's cute. Hmm. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this to nothing. Damien's fighting the world. He's trying to hurt people. I vouch for you. You think you mad? Try spending half your life in a cell. Why can somebody else live your life? I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Something is going on with you. Damien was like family. Good. If you look, if you look closely in, in those credits right at the end there, they flashed on the screen. Florian Mantino is in this as well. And that is who played Ivan Drago's son, Victor Creed, in Creed 2. So, or Victor Creed. Victor Creed! <laughs> uh, Victor Creed is Sabretooth from the X-Men franchise. Um, um, Victor Drago. Um so it didn't show him in the trailer, but it seems as though he is returning. I'm guessing he might have something to do with uh, training up um, Creed. 
Uh, this, uh, I feel like, even though this seems like a very original story, I'm very happy to see that Jonathan Majors is not playing Clubber Lang's son. I was so happy to see that they were not doing that. I thought it would have been cheesy as hell. Um, you don't, you don't, just leave it alone now. You, you did Drago's son. That was cool. It was awesome. The nostalgia was great. Don't keep going with that. And they didn't. I'm very happy that they didn't. I'm so glad it was not Clubber Lang's son. Um, but a very original story with it being someone from the past coming back. Um, someone he feels like he owes. Now, there was that scene. It looked like he was retiring. Kind of like Rocky in the beginning of Rocky Three. He goes to retire, and then he gets challenged by Clubber Lang, and that's the only reason he takes another fight. Now, um, this this does feel like not only Rocky Three, where where um, Creed is retiring, much like Rocky retired, Um I think that was his retirement speech. I think it, I really think that was. When we see it, I think that's what's happening. Um, he's going to retire, and then he's going to vouch for he's going to vouch for this guy from his past. That guy's going to go up the ranks. He's going to become a, a big time boxer and and uh, like maybe even champion. And then it's going to come to blows between them two. It's going to be you know uh, they're finally going to have the, the the fight to see who's the best. And I. feel feel like very much that that's Rocky V playing out, right? Except for that uh, Sylvester Stallone was much older. You know, Rocky was much older um, training Tommy Gunn. Uh, and then Tommy Gunn kind of turns on him because everyone's like, oh, well, you're not the best. You're, you know, you, you might be a champion, but you never had to beat the best. And that I feel like that's what's going to happen here. And then it's going to come down to be between Jonathan Majors and, and Michael B. Jordan, you know, in a, in a final showdown. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, that, that's what I think is happening here. Uh, a, a mix of Rocky Three with Rocky Five, okay? Um, that it's going to end up, but not in a street fight at the end. I think it's going to be a legitimate fight in the ring at the end, not a Tommy Gunn street fight outside the bar. Uh, but man, this looks good. Like, Michael B. Jordan is directing this one. And um, if the film's anything like the trailer, holy shit, Michael B., you are killing it, dude. This guy is he's he's like actor, producer, writer, director. He can fucking do anything and he is really good at all of it. Um if this is a a, a, a you know a, a look at his directing chops, uh if this trailer is indicative of of what his directing chops are like, um I think he's got some serious fucking talent and I cannot cannot wait to see this. As much as I enjoyed Creed 2, this has potential to be even better. Um Mainly to me because the story is more original. Yes, it, it, it has some Rocky Three and Rocky Five feels, but the fact that they're not reusing um, the same old characters and just doing a rehashing for nostalgia's sake, um, I'm very happy to see that, that it's an original story, that it's someone from, from Creed's past coming back, and uh, maybe there's some guilt in there, and that's why he wants to vouch for this guy, and... and, and who knows what it was? Maybe maybe he, the guy kept his mouth shut about something that the Creed was involved in and he, he could have ratted him out or something. Like, who knows? But the guy feels guilty that this other guy went to prison for 18 years. Um, so, I don't know. He feels like he owes him something. And I think that's why he sticks with him for so long. Um, but then the guy just gets out of hand. Just gets out of control. And then who knows? Maybe he... Maybe he says some shit about Bianca. Maybe he, just like Clubber Lang did when he talked to Adrian in, in Rocky Three. you know, when he's like, uh, you know, uh, why don't you bring your pretty little self over to my apartment tonight and I'll show you a real man. You know, maybe it's going to be something like that. Maybe he's going to, like, come on to Bianca like that. Maybe he's going to, uh, I don't know. Maybe he's going to beat Creed somehow. Um, but I, this looks amazing. This looks amazing. I cannot wait. Um. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know what you think in the comments below or if you're uh, listening in podcast form. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, uh, at Real Brett Scott, and we can talk about this. I love talking about this stuff. I'll talk to you all day. I'll go back and forth about this stuff. So please hit me up. That is not just, I'm not just saying that. I will talk to you about this. Hit me up. I love talking pop culture. I love talking entertainment. And I love, love talking Rocky and Creed franchise. Um, Anyway, if you enjoyed this this little review reaction, uh, please subscribe to the channel or favorite or follow the podcast. And um, yeah, if you do decide to stick around and favorite or follow, then I will talk to you again very soon, likely tomorrow.